Been a bit of a while since we've uh, knocked a YouTube up. There's been stuff going on, but I've just not been documenting it. Silly me. Um, today's little experiment is uh, installing a one to one ballon. That's the only documentation I got with it from uh, Radio World about 10 years ago. That's how long it's been uh, sitting there. But it's uh, a one to one ballon. It's called the Big Signal made by unadilla.com and it matches 50 to 75 ohms guess what to 50 to 75 ohms hence it's one to one what I've actually achieved out of this not really much difference in terms of antenna performance um, or the, uh, the the SWR curves etc for example the ATU uh, is most exactly the same positions um, as prior to the uh, to the ballon uh, being put in, the same kind of like tune positions on the ATU for the same frequencies which I've logged. What it has done is made a difference to my CCTV. Uh, now when I transmit the CCTV, there's just a slight ripple on the screen and it doesn't wipe out like two or three cameras completely black until you reset the CCTV. So uh, yeah, so a little experiment, I'll show you what I mean. So my coax comes out of the uh, out of the wall. It comes from the shack across the ceiling. It comes out of the wall in that uh, black pipe. It goes underneath the ground there, underneath the pathway, and comes up inside this little shed thing that I've built on the end of the carport. So let's take a track in there, and at the back of the shed, we're going to see the one-to-one -one ballon. Okay, there's the one-to-one -one ballon. Uh, actually on the wall there. Uh, the right hand side uh, is the ground, goes out and it goes down to two 10 foot ground stakes and the left hand side uh, is what I call the hot side, it goes uh, up the pole uh, to inverted L and I'm going to just cut the video and come back and show you the inverted L in a second. This is the inverted L it goes uh, up the wooden post, uh, across, up into the tree, it's centrally in the tree, about two thirds up, um, you can't see that on this video I'm sure, but you'll see the wire as it comes back, uh, across, well it's not over the roof of the house, but you can see it in the picture, it comes back through an eye, down the pole, and into the ballon inside the wall. So in terms of the actual radio, um, I selected uh, a frequency which I know and uh, on the chart here, or chart little table I've made, uh, I know that we should be around about 3G0 for 7.2 megs. Um, see that that's quite, quite a frequency there. Pretty much, yeah, there's not much going on. So, uh, I'm going to put the radio in to transmit at lower power because we don't, you know, we don't know the SWR yet. And if we put uh, higher power out, so it's just going to take the finals out. So I'm going to knock the power right back here. Okay. So the power is now uh, say six watts, but it won't be six watts because we're going to go on AM and so it will be uh, 6 whatever it is in AM, it's probably like 3 watts or something like that. And we're going to hit the transmit button and watch the needles. So the name of the game is to get the transmit needle as high as possible and the reflected as low as possible. So let's do that and it should be, uh, yeah. So there's, there's next to nothing coming back now. So I'm comfortable there with actually uh, upping the power to get a better reading on the uh, on the meter. So as you can see, the meter's up there. There's next to nothing coming back. I'm looking for the the lowest dip there. So maximum smoke and lowest dip. 
and there we go um, so let's not leave that on for too long should really have given a call sign there but we did check that there was nothing on the frequency so uh, there we are so that that is tuned and that is uh, approximately 3g1 and our starting point there for 7.2 megs was 3g0 so we're okay now um, the interesting fact is that uh, I'm going to spin you around now to see the uh, the CCTV screen Let's see if we can zoom out here. There we go. So this uh, CCTV screen, this uh, CCTV screen, previously the bottom uh, two cameras would have been wiped out. They run along the cable uh, in the, in that same trunking as the antenna cabling, as does the uh, one in the middle row on the right the white door so if I transmit these would totally disappear and we'd get a total herringbone uh, on all the other cameras it was just, it was really bad so um, let's just do a little check now um, and see I'm gonna up the power and we're gonna go into sideband so we're now sideband CQ test, CQ test, VE3 slash G7HCD. You can see uh, a slight wave uh, on there, but it's not wiping the cameras out. VE3 slash G7HCD test, VE3 slash G7HCD testing. So uh, <coughs> all of the exterior cameras, um, there's only actually two of them are getting some some kind of wave but it's still watchable and it's not completely blanking them out VE3 slash G7HCD test so there we are that's um, that's it that's uh, a good result I'd say would I have put a one to one balance up probably not particularly but for sure it proves the point that uh, most of the RF is going off the antenna now and not radiating off of the cable uh, either inside the house or along the way so uh, I would say that's a win-win thanks for watching VA3SII bye